Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, vector norms and matrix norms. So we start with vector norms first. Suppose you are given a vector x is 5 minus 4, 0 minus 6. So what is the one norm? What is the infinity norm? What is the two norm of the vector x? So the one norm of the vector x is just the absolute value of on the entries. So 5, then absolute minus 4, absolute value of 0, absolute value of minus 6. So it gives you f 5, 4 is 9, then 9 plus 6 is 15. Yeah. And then, so this is the one norm. And the infinity norm, so infinito, infinity norm of the vector x is defined to be the max of the absolute value of on the entries. Yeah, so max of 5 minus 4, absolute value 0, absolute value minus 6, absolute value, and it gives you 6. Okay. And now for the two norm, for the two norm of the vector x, what you need to do is you need to take the square of all the entries. So 5 square plus 4 square plus 0 square plus minus 6 square, and then take the square root, okay? And it will be equal square root of 77. And roughly is about 8.775, okay? So now for a matrix, so how do you calculate the one norm of this matrix? Infinity norm and two norm. So th for the matrix, then, you know, the formula is, suppose I want to take the one norm of the matrix A, then what I need to do is I need to take the, the column sums, yeah, in absolute values, okay? And then I take the max of the three sums. So I take max of, so the first column sum is in absolute value is, 3 plus 0 plus 2, which is 5, yeah? And then the second columns, yeah? In absolute value is 4, 4, 2 is 10. And the third one, it's just 2, 5 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, so in absolute value. And then the max of those three numbers will be 10, okay? And then, the infinity norm of the matrix. So for the infinity norm of the matrix, now instead of taking the column sums, in absolute value I take the row sums. Yeah? So now uh, I will take the row sum. So if I take the row sum of the first row in absolute value, then I have three, 4 is 7, 7 is 9, and then I take the second row sum, so 0, 4, 5 is 9, and the last one is, you know, 2, 2, 3, 7, then I take the max of those three numbers, so it gives me 9, okay? So how about the two norm of the matrix A? So for the two norm of the matrix A, it's a bit complicated, but there's three steps. So first, you have to compute A transpose A. Okay, so A transpose A is uh, the matrix A got transpose, so 3 minus 4, 2, and then 0, 4, minus 5, and then 2, minus 2, and 3 and multiply with the matrix A, so 3 minus 4, 2, 0, 4 minus 5, 2 minus 2, 3, and you know, I mean you apply the matrix multiplication and you got 13, 6, minus 16, 12, minus 16, 36, minus 34, 12 minus 34, 38. 
okay? And then the second step is you have to find the eigenvalues. So the eigenvalues of the matrix A transpose A will be 1.3706 and 8.5151 and 77.1143. So finding the eigenvalues is a bit complicated. So I assume that, you know, I mean, you can find the eigenvalues, say, by MATLAB, okay? And then we have three eigenvalues. And now we have to find the max eigenvalue. So max eigenvalue, and then you take the square root, and then it gives you the two norm of the matrix. So that will be max of the three eigenvalues of the matrix A transpose A. And then, you know, I mean, on those three eigenvalues, the maximum is 77.1143. And you take the square root, then it gives you 8.7815. Okay? So that is how you compute the one norm, the infinity norm, and the two norm of the matrix. So in the two norms, I mean, there's three steps. First step, you have to compute A transpose A. Second step, you find the eigenvalues of the matrix A transpose A. And the last step is you take the max eigenvalues and take the square root 